So tonight we're gonna get started with a pipe clamp rack build. To get started, I took two pieces of uh, three quarter inch plywood, scrap pieces I had sitting around the shop, uh, and I trimmed them down to about six inches wide each. And then I laminated two together. This is gonna be the main base for where the clamps rest in the rack. Next step, I just kind of used another scrap piece of wood here to kind of start laying out the specific dimensions uh, for the cuts that I'm going to make for each of the, uh, the holes where the pipe clamps will actually rest. Um, after a little trial and error, I kind of determined that for this waste piece and for the, the hole for each of the pipe clamp racks, I'm going to go with about one and an eighth inch inches wide for each of those, um, keeping it kind of the same just to make it easier as we go along and cut. Uh, and then about, I'm going to go three and a half inches deep. Um, did a little test with a couple of the racks, uh, the clamps in the rack, and that seems to hold it really well. Um, so the next step we'll take here is we'll get it, that laid out on our main board here that we just laminated, and then we'll start making the cuts. So now I've got all the waste or all the marks made. So now the, the next step is to cut out all of the waste here. Uh, I'll just use a hand drill, a uh, 3 8 inch bit, and put a couple holes at the end of each one of these, and I'll use a jigsaw to cut it out. I'm now done with the main part of the clamp rack. All the slots are cut out, and I went ahead and cut it to the proper width uh, on the table saw. So have the main piece done, now I need to work on the layout for the back and the two sides and the top. All right, so I have a spare piece of plywood here on the bottom that I'm gonna use for the back. I'm gonna also use it for the, uh, the sides. Uh, so just kind of laying out the main part here with a couple of my pipe clamps just to kind of make sure that the fit's gonna be good. I'm having a room up top here. So these guys look like they'll fit in nicely if I put this, uh, the main piece right in about here, only about a few inches at the bottom. And then we'll take the sides uh, from the remainder once I trim this up, and we'll, uh, we'll take those and, and measure them out for the two side pieces here and then on the other side. Now I have the back cut to width, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the marks I made earlier when doing the layout over to the other side so I know on each side where the, uh, where the main piece of the clamp rack's gonna go. So I'm just gonna use my square here to mark, uh, mark off that side from, uh, from one side there, tighten it up, and then I'll flip it over here. That should give us a good uh, a good spot on each side for where the main piece of the clamp rack is going to fit in here. Now I just need to measure um, the height of the back and the the main piece here to get the full uh, the full width for each of the sides that I need to cut the table saw. So it'll come to right at six and three quarters. Two sides have now been cut and uh, have them dry fit in here. Uh, so the last piece I need to do is the top, which will fit in here. So it'll basically end up being the exact, exact same dimensions as our uh, main piece here with the slots, uh, but I'll just use one single sheet um, of three quarter. So I'll cut that in and we'll dry fit all that in, make sure it all fits in. The top's now cut and fitting in here nicely. Um, the last piece we wanna do before we screw this up is take care of this edge over here at the bottom. So you're gonna be putting clamps here on, in here on the side uh, this is a pretty sharp edge, so I think just to make it a little bit easier um, and less uh, painful on the hands potentially, uh, and also to make it just look a little bit better, I think we're going to cut in a little round in here. So, all right, so I have one of my sides here, and this is the part where I want to cut a little, uh, little corner onto it, a little round corner. Uh, and I like to use any type of small can I have in the shop. This is just a little can of uh, pre-stained wood conditioner uh, that I don't think I've ever used, uh, but it's been sitting around getting dusty. Um, but it helps to just kind of lay one out here, uh, kind of put that corner on the end there, just get it kind of something that looks decent. Um, one of those just marked it off with a pencil. I'm gonna take a jigsaw and just kind of round that over. And then I'll, uh, once I have this one cut, I'll just use it uh, to mark off the next one. That way they end up with similar uh, edges on them. 
now I've got the, the basic curves cut on each of the sides here. I know, nothing fancy, but at least it'll kind of help, uh, help ease it a little bit in case you bump into it when you're putting a clamp in. Uh, so from here, got it fit up pretty nicely. Uh, everything feels good. I really just need to screw this thing together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some clamps on here and then I'll start screwing in on each side to really tighten this thing up and then we'll get it put up on the wall and, and uh, get our clamps up. All right, so the uh, pipe clamp rack is done. I uh, have everything screwed up, ready to go. Um, you see here, I uh, have it pretty well secured on the side. Should be able to, to hold up to the nine uh, pipe clamps I can fit in there. I've only got four right now. Uh, next up, uh, I have some things to clear up on the wall over here, move around a little bit from some things I have up there now. Uh, then we'll get this bad boy up there and see how it looks. And here we have our finished pipe clamp rack. Um, as I was putting it up, I realized one key step I forgot. Um, when I was putting the screws in, I forgot to put the ones from the back into the base here uh, and into the top. So I took care of that quickly. Uh, then got it secured on the wall with a couple of screws and some studs. Uh, we have ourselves a finished pipe clamp rack.